Hi everyone, Demo here, and today I'm reacting to the Adopt Me Weekly News. If you're new here, the Adopt Me Weekly News is two news segments released on Monday and Wednesday, preparing you for the update that comes out on Friday. Usually the Monday video is small tidbits of what is to come, and Wednesday is a more in-depth, informative video. But it seems this week, Wednesday's video is a lot shorter and probably has a lot less information, but it is showcasing to us what the new area looks like. This isn't a huge update. This is more so a smaller update to tide us over until the next big update. I'm okay with that because we have Halloween and we have, of course, a lot more stuff in the works coming soon and... It's nice to have something a little bit smaller so we don't have to consistently grind. We can just focus on, you know, aging up our pets, getting age up potions and getting bucks. Because if you don't know, your boy right now is poor in terms of bucks and age up potions. Because Halloween has completely overwhelmed me and used up all of my resources. So I've got to get back onto grinding and at least with this smaller update I can get the pets done and kind of focus on the grinding aspect regardless of needing to do pets so that's something i'm incredibly thankful that i can do anyway i am yapping and you guys ain't here to see the yapping or hear the yapping so let's get into this and see what they have provided us i like the editing oh gosh oh okay that looks really cool okay so guys if you don't know um they the um, Halloween stuff that is going to be in this uh, little area is stuff that is already in the game. This is just a way for you guys to spend the last of your candy without panicking and having leftovers after the event ends. Because if you guys don't know, when the event ends, if you have candy, it completely goes away. You can't spend it. But I like that they're doing something like this so that people who usually would not be able to spend their candy on the last day are able to do it. Because I feel like, I think we have this for a week. Week, and the stock is changing I think they said every single day so you'll still be able to spend your candy but you just will not be able to earn any more candy you won't be able to earn any more there's not going to be a mini game area for the uh, uh, Halloween games all of that is going the only way to obtain candy after the event leaves on Friday is to purchase it for robux so if you don't want to do that save up your candy now or just grind out your candy now again these are things that are already in the game you don't have to worry too much about them and then these are the new pets the sugar axolotl is 700 robux and it is a legendary and then this is the owl i believe i forgot what his actual technical name is but on those are the stamps. You get a stamp every, what is it, 45 minutes or something like that. And once you finish your stamp collection, you get the Golden Jaguar, which is up there. I'm not personally a fan. I'm definitely more excited for the Axolotl, the uh, Sugar Skull Axolotl. I think that is the coolest um, pet from this update, the Dia de los Muertos. Uh, coming this friday super duper excited i definitely think the axolotl is the best it's probably going to hold the most value as well just because it is robux it is slightly cheaper than some of the other robux pets they have released which i am incredibly thankful for it is 700 robux which is obviously less than the 1000 robux pets and people are likely going to complain in the comment section below that oh no there is a robux pet Guys, you do have to understand this is a job for the developers. They do not get paid. Well, they they get paid. They do not get paid by people just playing the game. They get paid from the Robux purchases that people make. And it, people just need to understand that there is going to be Robux items in the game if they want to keep developing the game. Because the majority of the developers are adults who have mortgages, who have to get pay bills who have to get food so of course uh, adopt me are going to have to implement robux uh, items into the game just so they can pay their developers so please i understand it's unfortunate and it is frustrating when there is robux items that you cannot get but do do bear in mind that you know this is a job for the developers and they can't just survive off of the praise that they get from adopt me okay they cannot that's just not a feasible option here um 
but I'm really, really excited for this. I think it's going to be great. If you do want to get the Sugar Skull Axolotl, I would highly recommend waiting a couple of days um, after the update comes out. The value is going to be the highest on the first day, so people are going to want insane overpays. Um, so do be in mind that you will have to wait a couple of days if you don't want to overpay like crazy. Um, if need be, you can hatch royal eggs, I believe. Um, what's... Alley coins. If you make neon alley coins, you can get decent trades for them and trade that up to a sugar skull axolotl. Uh, not I was say winged horse for some reason. Um, I I forgot what they're called. Uh, dragonflies and ancient dragons don't have a lot of value, so I would highly recommend staying away from those. But if you can, mushroom friends from the garden egg also have a decent amount of value. So if you want to trade for the ax skull, uh, sugar skull axolotl, I would highly recommend hatching garden eggs to get uh, mushroom friends or trading for ride potions. It's probably going to be a lot of ride potions though, so I wouldn't recommend that option. But again, I would recommend hatching retired eggs as well if you have vip just because you have the opportunity to get the unicorn and the unicorn gets insane overpays as well so if you are lucky you'll be able to get unicorns and you'll be able to get an uh sh skull face sugar skull <laughs> axel also no problem let me know in the comment section below what you think of these new pets are you going to be getting them and if so would you get to name them <laughs> anyway that's it for this video i do hope you enjoyed i will see you next time Bye bye